Hey guys, my name is Tom. This is my friend Pinko. Now in this video, I'm going to give an introduction to the dot product. And this will be in the case of vectors that have three components, x, y, and z. Okay. So let's take a look at what we have. You may be given a vector, and it may look like this. F1 here. And the components of this vector are these. Okay, I'm going to use this kind of notation here. So the x component could be described as f1x, and then the y component, f1y, and then the z component, f1z. These are the components of our vector. And then you may be given another vector. I've got all these colors here, I might as well use them. And that is given by f2, and that is given by f2x f1y and then f1z. Nope, two, I'm sorry. There we are. So these are the components of our vectors. And now we define the dot product to the following quantity. As long as you can add and multiply, you can find the dot product. Okay, it's just addition and multiplication, nothing else. And it takes the following form. f1 with an arrow. Then you write this big dot over here, and then you multiply by 2 with an arrow. So this is the first vector dotted with the second. And what comes out of this is what's known as a scalar quantity, just a number, not another vector, just a number like 4 or 5 or 10 or minus 50. And then you apply the definition, which is this. F1x, and you will multiply this by F2x. Then at the next step, you will add to this f1y multiplied by f2y. And then at the last step, you will add to this f1z multiplied by f2z. And this is the definition of the dot product. We're just multiplying things together, and then you're adding them. It's not very fancy operations. Okay? So now let's apply this to find one particular dot product. Okay, so say we are given that, you know, F1 over here has the specific numbers 2, 4, and 3 as its components. And then F2 has the specific numbers negative 2, 3, and negative 1 as those X, Y, and Z components. So let's apply the definition. The definition simply says, multiply and add. 2 times negative 2 is the first step. Add to that 4 times 3, and then, I mean, you see how silly this is. <laughs> 3 times negative 1. Okay, you are multiplying and adding. Not very deep. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. 4 times 3 is 12, and then 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. So let's simplify. We have negative 4 plus 12, which is positive 8. Whew minus 3, which is 5. So the dot product of F1 and F2, in the specific case that they are 2, 4, 3, and negative 2, 3, negative 1, that value is positive 5. Okay, so this is in the case of two three-dimensional vectors, right? Each one has one, two, three components. There are two of them. So you apply the definition of the dot product as you see it here. Simply multiply the corresponding components together, add everything at the end, and that's it. And there is a number that, oops, that is known as the dot product. Okay. I think there's enough for this video. Um, in other videos, I discuss the actual geometric interpretation of the value and so on. Okay. So thank you for watching. Have an absolutely amazing day.